So summertime can be a great time for homeowners looking to refresh their backyard spaces and get ready for the months ahead. And joining us now to discuss some of this year's top home improvement projects, along with some tips on sticking to a budget, is home expert at Angie, Mallory Meistich. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. <laughs> thank you for your time and thank you for joining us. Now, what are some of the top outdoor projects homeowners are undertaking this summer? Yeah, ahead of the busy home improvement season, May to August, we surveyed Americans across the U.S. and asked them, hey, what are you going to be doing this year around your home? Um, and unsurprisingly, outdoor projects kind of rose to the top of that list. And there were three in specific. The top project was adding a garden space, um, which I think, or adding a garden feature, which I think makes a lot of sense. Um, Texans already have a lot of pride in their yards um, and are, are ready to take it a little bit above and beyond by adding something special. <laughs> And speaking of making changes, do you have any tips to help homeowners stick to their budgets? Yeah, absolutely. We often start from a place of inspiration. We see things uh, in our neighborhood or our friends and family or see stuff on social media and on television. And we're like, that's really what I want to do. Instead, reverse that order. Start with a budget and then find inspiration that fits within your budget. I also recommend once you have a general budget, reaching out to some local home pros who can help you with your project. They're going to know the best prices and things for materials um, and everything along the way. And they're really going to work with you on your budget. Lastly, I always recommend adding about a 10% buffer for those unexpected, expected things that always come up when you're doing home improvement projects. This will really help you keep on your budget um, and will kind of prevent any any heartburn down the road. <laughs> Thank you, Mallory. Mallory, when it comes to undertaking a new project, how do we know whether it should be a DIY, a do-it-yourself project, or if we should call it an pro? Yeah, this is a question we get a lot at Angie. And I think one of the best ways to kind of make this assessment is ask yourself, do I have the time, the tools, and the talent to do this project and do this project well? Ideally, you need all three of those things to have a successful outcome. If you don't, then it's time to maybe think about calling in a local pro to help you with your project. And where can our viewers go for more information? Yeah, so if you're looking for inspiration or you're ready to make that hiring decision and find a pro, Angie.com is the place to find that. Or if you're like me and are often on your phone, um, the Angie app has all those same resources. Hello, everybody. Stefania Jimenez here. Thank you so much for watching KSAT's YouTube channel. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.